Hi guys, Flying Fish here, and welcome back to some more Dokkan Battle. <coughs> ah, had something in my throat there, but um, welcome back. We're doing some more Dokkan Battle. Uh, in here we have a something <laughs> really interesting. Uh, so this is the new story event to acquire the LR Kid, the uh, LR Goku Jr. and Vegeta Jr. and uh, it's kind of interesting because these guys were released on JP not too long ago. They were part of the 7th the seventh anniversary EX uh, celebration or whatever. It was like it was like an after party for like the 7 year anniversary and yeah um, they gave Global it early for some reason. I'm not <laughs> completely sure why. I mean like, they also gave Global the- Global and JP both got the easy area for these characters at the same time as well. And that's really, uh, I mean, that's cool. I mean, they're a solid unit. I heard from what they, uh, from the one developer video that they did, they wanted these two to be, like, kind of a super beginner unit, like, easy for new players to, you know, grab. So, they're not the most- insane power wise but they're okay i think people really um hold these units to higher expectations when overall they're just supposed i think they're just the the intention of these characters is that they're just supposed to be solid in the early game and i feel like they absolutely fulfill that role so yeah i don't know i think they're pretty okay uh, not like the best in the world. Uh, they are actually the best world tournament category leader. <laughs> that's, uh, that's pretty funny. So, yeah, we're just gonna jump into this story event right here. And just sort of see, um, just kind of, I don't know, just look at it and stuff. I want to do a video, I like to do a video just covering the story event because, uh, I don't know. <laughs> I thought it would be fun, and I'm, like, all over the place, so, um, let's see. So, this story event has three stages, and it's just the one stage to get, like, each medal and the drops and stuff. Okay. Alright, yeah, let's, I'm just done passing time. We're just gonna get into this. And, oh, was there? Hang on, actually. Hang on. Actually, I'm gonna back out of this. I know this is dumb and a waste of stamina, but I think I may have had the story events turned off yeah scenario was off okay i want to watch the scenarios too i want to cover that in the video as well just to have it there okay uh let's see what we have um so <laughs> goku jr heads down the most so we have goku jr and pan uh all right and we got this this is just covering the like special or whatever like movie that came out from gt you know, the one that wasn't very good at all. Uh, we got, like, we had, like, bears and stuff, and this guy, Goku Jr. Is, yeah, this is when Goku Jr. goes Super Saiyan for the first time. Okay, so, okay, yeah, pretty standard stuff. I might cut a lot in this video because I'm sort of all over the place and I don't know what to talk about. Alright, so, uh, the story event's not gonna, you know, story events are never hard. We're just gonna do a little of this, do a little trolling. Oh! Uh, one thing good we'll get to see from this story event is the little, uh, mission clear. The, the new, uh, thing that came out in version Z where if you clear a stage on, like, the higher difficulty, it clears the, uh, the lower difficulty one too. So we should see that in just a second here. Oh, by the way, this stage, this whole event is, uh, you want to bring youth category characters and they're giving you extra drops. Here we got, uh... Goku Jr., he's trying to make a wish from the dragon, but he doesn't know you need all seven Dragon Balls to make a wish. And also, we have a good render of Goku right here. This is, I think this is like a boss character you fight. You can't actually get this card, but it would be cool if one day we ever got like a, like an end of GT LR Goku. That, 3,000 days? 3,000 day LR? Maybe? That that would be super cool. That or like a like an like the Universal Spirit Bomb Goku. We need a real version of that Goku, by the way. We've got like the free to play card, but that's that's not enough for that scene. I've recently rewatched GT lately, and I can tell you they they that Goku deserved to be so much more better. 
Okay. Uh, moving on to the next stage. Uh, this is when we should fight the the that art of Goku we just saw. And also make sure you're just picking LR options here to make your grind a little bit easier. Um. Oh wait, is this is this original story? This is okay. This is post the movie and before the world tournament from the last episode of Z GT. This is like yeah. This is like new stuff. Oh, this is this is cool. I love when Dokkan does this when they give us original stories. We don't have too many of those. We've got like the like all the Halloween ones. Those are all like original stories and the uh, the future trunk story event uh, from Z. His the first few stages cover Trunks's future like before like as the androids are showing up and like all the Z fighters deaths and stuff we I'm pretty sure that's not represented anywhere else in Dragon Ball which is super super cool and I wish they do uh, give us more of that in the future okay so Goku Jr he's talking to the Dragon Ball which is like Goku like went on with Shenron at the end of the of GT Grandpa Goku so all right oh no you gotta fight Grandpa Goku oh no oh no I'm too weak I can't I can't fight you I, I don't I don't really like Goku Jr that much dude as like a as like a concept of a Goku's great ancestor I think that's super super awesome especially like him and vegeta jr i think that's hilarious but like him as like an actual character i i don't really like him i he's he's just lame i don't like him all right yeah boom easy very very easy uh we didn't even get any medals from that one is this gonna be like those lr story events where it's the medals and the grind is like super annoying oh my gosh Okay, so yeah, Goku Jr. goes super. Yeah, this is this is not in GT or the movie or anything. Well, you're really ama that's not what Goku sounds like. <laughs> yeah, I was excited before, but fighting you now really got my blood pumping. Ah. Uh oh. Wait. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> um. So Goku just shows Goku Jr. Super Saiyan four. Well, okay, uh, is this isn't in like any other Dragon Ball media? Is it? This is original, right? I'm not familiar with. I'm I'm not even familiar with many Dragon Ball games that even have like Goku Jr. in it. Does Budokai Three have Goku Jr.? I don't even know. Like Dokkan is one of the one of the only few games out there that has like actually. Goku Jr. and Vegeta Jr. in it. That's that's really cool. Okay, wow. If th if that is from anything, please let me know because I kind of want to see that now. All right, now this is the last episode of GT right here. This is when we finally get Goku Jr. and versus Vegeta Jr. This is the stage you're gonna want to grind the actual copies from. Keep in mind you will need a lot. I think you'll need 25 copies in total. One to get the SA-10, which is your main one. You know, second one to get the SA-10 to feed into the other for SA-20. And then you'll need one more to get the SA-5, who will, for, like, when you easy A them. Alright, and here we got Goku Jr., Vegeta Jr. Oh, and we have, uh, Bra here also. Or Bola, wh wh whatever her name was. Yeah, this is really neat. <laughs> uh, anytime you're ready, bring it. <laughs> Okay, you asked for it. All right, cool. Um, I've been saying that a lot. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm doing my best. Why was I so good at recording yesterday? I don't know. I've been so tired today, dudes. It's raining today. Is it true? I heard a saying, I think, that, like, when it rains, it, like, you know, it, like, makes you sleepy or, like, it makes you, it's like the atmosphere or something. I don't know. When it's rainy, you get sleepy. I've heard. I don't even know where I heard that from. It, maybe it just came to me in a dream. I, well, let me know. I, let me know in the comments about that. Do you guys get sleepy when it rains? Holy heck, those kids are strong. Oh, and is this where we're going to see... Are we going to see Goku here? 
Those are really good arts for them. I mean, I'm pretty sure those are the character arts, by the way. Oh, wait, are they? No, they're not. Well, anyway, those are good arts anyway. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah, there's the LR art. For some reason, the story event render is higher quality than the actual card art. Aw, oh, no, we don't get to see... We don't get to see Goku and him, him saying bye guys and all that. Aww. That's disappointing. Okay. Well, we did it. That's the story event. Uh, we get six stones in total. Uh, we get the copies of Goku Jr. and Vegeta Jr. Yeah, very, very cool. Uh, this unit, I think, is good. Uh, I, think, I think some people expect too much from them. They're good. They're solid. They're the GT Heroes and World Tournament category leader, which... Uh, I mean, they're the best world tournament leader, I'll say that. If if they wanted to make these guys, like, a better, like, beginner's unit, they should have led, like, hybrid Saiyans or joined forces or su hybrid Saiyans and super Saiyans, maybe. But because it's Goku Jr. and Vegeta Jr., they wanted to make their leader a bit more original, I guess, because they can just release any hybrid Super Saiyan character and make them the leader for those teams. It's rare that you'll get a... <laughs> it's rare that you'll ever get a GT Heroes and World Tournament leader. Yeah, okay. Yeah, get these guys done. They are very solid, and also you'll get bonus drops for, like, any stage that, you know, has World Tournament as, like, the category they want you to bring. Yeah, that's all I have to say. I'm that second stage though, dude. That's really, really cool. I gotta tell my friend about that. It was like a super big GT stand if he knows anything about that. But yeah, there we go. Thank you all so much for watching this video. Please hit that like button and subscribe if you feel like it. I love you all, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye.